Public procurement is complicated, but it's not impossible. Its rules are some of the most complex in each country, and the details are almost never published and ready to work with. Data are concealed, often in complex documents, or they are unclean or are riddled with errors. Let's be honest, dealing with public procurement data is hard work, but it is one of the most useful fields for journalists, guaranteed. This video is the first of a series that explains what to do step by step and with the samples. Let's start with at the beginning. Why is this public procurement important in journalism? All topics include some feature of public procurement, whether it be corruption, forest fire fighting services, or public health matters. By understanding the legal framework and public procurement data, you will be able to pinpoint relevant topics and learn how public institutions spend public money. The best thing is that once you have the know-how, you can apply this to every subject area you work on throughout your career. For example, when covering major events or global crises such as that caused by COVID-19, much can be done using procurement data. In the case of the COVID-19 crisis, we can find in public procurement data the answers to questions that affect us all. From whom does the government buy medical supplies and for how much? What is the situation with the vaccine? Who will distribute it and at what price? Sometimes delving into procurement data is the, the only way to fight opacity. For example, the pharmaceutical industry shields its agreements through confidentiality clauses, but sometimes we can find this information in the small print of public contracts. Journalists do not always have the time and experience to analyze this procurement data, so investing time in the study of this will afford you a different, unique perspective on the subject. But you have to be careful, it is easy to make mistakes if you don't understand the basic concepts or your country's legal processes. This happens all the time in all kinds of media, large and small. So what can I do once I understand procurement? You can use procurement data to publish stories about a specific contract. This is how we were able to reveal that the government of Madrid contracted an illegal advertising campaign or how the government lied to Congress, claiming it didn't have private security. The best thing is that you, in a headline you are able to state with authority that something is illegal without fear of complaints. You can also use the procurement data as a whole. So you can explain, for example, how public institutions split thousands of contracts up in order to push them through as minor contracts and thus be permitted to award them to whomever they like. Additionally, you can also find out which companies have received the lion's share of public contracts in a specific country, such as we did for Spain. Both of these are examples of unique approaches with data-driven analysis. Yes, it is difficult, but it is also extremely useful to a journalist. So we would like to help you to understand it better. But where to begin? We will explain all in the next video.